Welcome back to Pop Culture Explosion. I'm Mike and I'm here with Paul. Here at Pop Culture Explosion, we put on our underoos, we get our web slingers on, and we go to the movies and get totally excited. Mike, what are we talking about today? Today, well, Marvel Studios has done it again. Boom! Spider-Man Homecoming was exciting, brilliant, thrilling, humorous. It was well acted, well written. The pacing was spot on. We get to see Peter Parker being a 15-year-old kid, you know, as the film focuses on some character building. You know, but it does so in an engaging and fun way. Uh, this was such a refreshing new look at Spider-Man. Uh, we are spared the whole origin story with the uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Um, thank, thank you, you. MCU. <laughs> um, Tom Holland, he nailed it as Peter Parker. I mean, you know, in my humble opinion, uh, the actor needs to pull out Peter Parker first, Spider-Man second, and he did it. Yep. And we were also spared from the bumbling, down-on-his-luck version. So annoying. Uh, this this MCU version it distances its, itself in many ways from the previous films, which is also refreshing. And it addresses some fun situations. You know, for example, it shows what happens when you don't have tall buildings this way <laughs> between. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, you know, this film does go out of its way to include diversity, and it does change around some of the original characters. Uh, you know, Mike, you raise a great point. Uh, I, I have to say, they hit us over the head with diversity. Uh, they changed up two major characters that did not need to be changed. Uh, you know, you should not add diversity simply for the sake of diversity. Um, like I said, they took two major iconic characters from the Spider-Man comics and they completely changed them for no reason except for the sake of diversity. Not, not only, it didn't add any value. Uh, and, and in my humble opinion, as a comic purist, it kind of took away a little bit. Well, I agree that the comic book purists would likely have some grievances with the choices for the actors in, in, the, in the film. It really didn't bother me. In fact... I'm glad with some of it, um, you know, except they they did go a bit overboard with the diversity where it seemed pretty obvious. Uh, it's like, hey, let's include every single race and make sure there's an LGBTQ character, you know, et cetera, whatever. Um, moving on, Michael Keaton was one of the <laughs> highlights of the film. He had a commanding presence on the screen. I, I was afraid of him. <laughs> there, was, oh God, yes. there was some great tension in one scene in particular. Oh yeah, uh, no spoilers. Uh, but he was relatable. You feel for his plight. You know the the when he says, "You know those guys don't care about us." You know he 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 had the familiar classic Keaton mannerisms, which I loved to see. You know I'm glad he's now part of the MCU. Uh, I've, I've been a fan of Michael Keaton since I was a kid. You know. Uh, he is such an amazing actor, and every scene he was in, he completely owned it. Uh, his character was fierce, uh, but at his core, his only motivation was his family uh, and his honor. And he displayed uh, all those traits uh, even at the very end of the movie. And by the way, you need to stay through the credits for a particular scene, which I'm referring to. <laughs> Well, and I also think that the fact that Tony Stark is in the film, it just seals the deal, you know, and it's and it cements it as the an official MCU film. Uh, the MCU just got a lot bigger, uh, and Marvel has another amazing character to build future movies on. Uh, so, so, Mike, w with all that being said, what are your final thoughts? Final thoughts? This was a rip-roaring, fun movie to watch. I look forward to seeing it again. Um... You know, we have a couple of sequences in particular that were so intense and action-packed. I had to look away. I'm a little afraid of heights. Um, so I can't wait to see what the box office numbers are going to look like Sunday afternoon. Uh, agreed. Uh, you know, I saw it today with Christine and I, and we both loved it. Uh, <laughs> there were actually moments when her face was buried in my arm because she was so stressed out. And there were other moments that we could, we were just dying laughing. Uh so yeah, it was awesome. So so Mike, with with that being said, how would you rate this on a one to ten scale? I give Spider Man Homecoming a nine point five. Uh, you know what? You and me both. I will give this a solid nine point five. 
so so everyone watching this, what, what do you think? If, if you've seen the movie already, do you, do you agree with this review? Uh, if you haven't seen the movie yet, does this help you on whether or not you want to see this movie? Uh, please, uh, if you like this video, give us a thumb up, thumbs up. If you did not like this review, give us a thumb down. I'm okay with that. Uh, and of course, we want to continue the conversation below. So give us your thoughts in the comment sections. And if you do any of those things, you will have your own web shooters hand delivered at your doorstep tomorrow before 10 a.m. So with that being said, Mike... Peace, Peace out. out.